two years ago. In two. In one. Akibara accept. Never ever trying the Org Akibara accept ever again. My dumbass decided to try this again. I am joined by my unlucky cat. Not a fantastic start to the video. Today we're going to be attempting, as you can probably tell in the title, the number one Org Akibara Accept. This is a super old school, super rare, super expensive Org. The most expensive Org of all Orgs in existence. However, to do this, we're going to need another incredibly expensive skin. It is the AK-47 Hydroponic. I crafted the number one. When did I do that? A little under a year ago. I'm not going to be using the number one for this video. Don't worry. All you skin lovers, it's safe for the time being. However, I will be using the number 13 right here. I bought this one 15 days ago and I bought it for 3400 dollars for a 0, 0, 0, 0.009 basically a 0, 0, 0.001 and i considered that a good deal that's how expensive these hydroponics are but just before we dive into that to celebrate my crafting of this number one eye of horus which i highly doubt will ever be beaten it's just that ridiculously low flow a very talented artist called mr fox the shoe guy contacted me he's made some amazing pieces for some other youtubers check out this dragon law one and he very kindly made me some unbelievably sick Air Force Ones. We worked closely together on the look at them. Look how sick these are. It's got the Eye of Horus, it's got the pattern up the top, it's got the pattern around the side, and it's even got the yellowish laces to match the skin. I couldn't be happier with these. They are so, so cool, and I'm going to keep them forever, and they're always going to remind me of the number one Eye of Horus that I got the lowest covert in the entire game. If you guys like his work, feel free to check him out down below in the description. There's going to be his Instagram, his Twitter, and his YouTube. Not only did he make me those, he also made me these. <laughs> My girlfriend saw them. She was a little surprised. She was like, are we expecting? But look at them. They're like some little baby shoes, and not just any baby shoes for that matter. They are the unlucky blood in the water shoes. Absolutely legendary. Thank you so much, dude. I'm praying we don't see these guys today in the trade-up. I also figure you guys are interested in a little recap of some trade-ups that I've been doing off camera recently. This one right here was for the number one Negev Molnia in the entire world. My thought was to create this and then throw in my number one Dragon Lore trade-up. So here's what it looked like, exceptionally low floats in here, including a Desert Eagle from the Norse collection, which is at least $2,000, just that skin alone. I didn't have the highest hopes for the 5%, but there were some really, really cool outcomes. I also ended up throwing in the number one Mag 7 Prism Terrace with this epic float. I feel kind of guilty about destroying it. We had so many cool possibilities. I hit the proceed button, Unfortunately, we got the P90 Cold Blooded, which is the number two P90 Cold Blooded in non stat track in the entire world. Pretty cool, but not the outcome I was hoping for. Then I continued my mission to add more percentage to my number one Dragon Lord trade up in a 30% usable knight for it. This again was a very, very expensive trade up. Three items from the Cobblestone Collection. Four items from the St. Mark collection. All of them in very, very low float, making them super expensive. It gave us a 30% at a 401 night, and then a 40% at a 301 wild lily. I hit the proceed button and boom. Not exactly what we were after. We wanted the night, to be honest. However, the wild lily isn't too bad either. I'm told by Drutut that I can sell this wild lily for around $8,000 or so. And technically, I do believe it is the number one in existence because this one has been deleted, this one that I crafted has been deleted, and then this one at number three, actually number one, is the new number one wild lily, which could be used 
to get the new number one Wild Lotus. So there's a little update on my recent shenanigans. Today's shenanigans are gonna look a little something like this. We have some very, very low flow restricteds in here, including one singular chalice. This gives us a 5% yet again at a usable night for our number one Dragon Lord trade up. We also have some other very cool options. I think the absolute worst thing we could get would probably be from the Anubis collection, either the Waters of Nephthys or the Apex Curse because it's not very good flow. And then the second worst thing we could get is the target acquired. Best options in order, the Knight, the Blue Phosphor, the P90 Cold Blood, top three. Our very, very first contract. Tiny bit over 5% for a usable Knight. One in 20. Definitely not fantastic odds, but we can dream. So let's count this down. Three, two, one, M4A1S, night. Oh, it's bad, it's bad. It's definitely one that I did not want whatsoever. There are so many better options than that. This is no, 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 four, seven, which makes it the number three non-stat track serum. I mean, not all hope is lost because I can use this obviously for future contracts. I might even chuck this in the all Akibara accept that I'm about to do. My plan for the Org Akibara will probably look a little something like this. A 10% at the Org Akibara accept with three zeros and then a one Eight. We also got a 20% at a pretty cool float, Gold Arabesque. A 10% at Warp Fade. I don't think this is the number one. I might check that actually real quick. No. If we hit it, it would be the number two. And then last but not least, what's on the shoes? Up there, the Scout Blood in the Water for 60%. The Org Akibara is such an expensive one to attempt especially only for a 10%. It's absolute madness that I'm doing this. So I urge you to check out my website, Skin Search. It's a website where you can look up your favorite skins of all time and find the absolute cheapest price across the entire internet for that skin. Skin Search does all the hard work for you and finds you the absolute cheapest price on them. It's also got a very helpful trade-up feature, which I'm obviously using for this video right now. And it has a very cool inventory feature that tells you the real life value of your skins and potentially what you should be selling specific things for say for example you just unboxed a really cool knife you don't know the price then come check out skin search it's got all the answers for you best part is it's completely free to use as well i love the fact that it remembers my trade up so i can just come back to this tab and we got this waiting for us don't know if putting this serum in is going to be an unlucky omen Guarantee that we hit the scout blood in the water. I'm really hoping that. Here it is. They are all in the contract. Oh, 10%. Org Akibara accepts such an expensive contract for the 10% that's hydroponic. I'm gonna feel guilty deleting such a low flow hydroponic, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it's all worth it. We got a double, triple check all of our floats again. Make sure we're not accidentally using any fillers that we need for the number one Dragon Law contract. Yeah, yeah, it's looking good, it's looking good. Unfortunately, I still have Mr. Unlucky Cat right here on my lap, so I don't know how I feel about this one. I think this will be my very last trade-up of 2023 as well. Let's end on a high note. Come on, Mr. Gaben. I've always wanted the Org Akibara except this time, today to make it happen for the 10%. New number one float in the world for Akibara except. Number two, best skin. It's the gold arabesque. I think it might be the number two in existence. Gold arabesque, not too bad. Number three, best skin. It's the Orp Fade. Number two Orp Fade in the world, not too bad, but way better, way, way better than the 60% blood in the water. We've seen it so many times. We can't be seeing it today. <laughs> Before I press this button, I just want to thank you, all of you for your continued love and support on the channel. It means the absolute world to me, and hopefully we're going to have killer 2024 with loads of cool new updates in CS2 that we just haven't seen yet. Let's do this. I'm literally going to put the headset on just so I can hear the little trade-up sound. <laughs> 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, enough waffling. I have to close my eyes for this one. I have to do it. Three, two, one. All active banner! I knew it. I knew I I knew it. I felt it. I felt it. That is absolutely devastating. Really very, very, very sad. Very sad indeed. But I guess I'll just uh blame my unlucky cat <laughs> right here. We still have yet to break the curse of Mr. Latte. Six, seven thousand dollars down the drain. But we had a dream and we tried to attempt it, and that is the most important. On a happier note, what do you guys think about my new purchase? This is a Black Scope Souvenir Desert Hydra. It's going to be my main orb on T-side, I think. And I'm questioning which scope I put on the sticker here. I'm thinking like a Cato 14 Hollow. Some of them look super dope on the scope. So if you've got any suggestions for that, let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, as always, please slap that like button. It is highly, highly appreciated. See all of you in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.